Do you ever get overwhelmed by the endless color choices in Procreate? Or wonder how to pick colors that actually go together? Today we're going to take the mystery out of the Procreate color palettes so you can confidently choose color palettes that are going to make your artwork sing. Hi there, my name is Cheryl. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to look at the Procreate color palettes and talk about swatches, finding color, saving color, and putting together palettes that you actually enjoy working with. If you're just starting out in Procreate or transitioning from another medium, I think this video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to whip up a color palette like a pro. I've also created a little freebie for you for this video. It's a list of um, color terminology terms that you might find helpful if you're new to color. There, uh, there's a link for a Dropbox and it's yours, my gift to you, uh, in this video. The interface is pretty simple. We have the ability to add a new palette. We can see the palette. This is the compact view, but we can also see them as cards. And Procreate gives them an, each color a name, which is kind of fun. We have the ability to um, change the name, the color palette, type in a new name for this color palette. So um, on the bottom, we have a lot more options. We have um, the disc version. We can see the colors as a disc where we can change the outer circle, we'll change the hue. Um, and the center circle is the saturation, light to dark. And if we double tap, we'll get pure white or pure black. So here we have the classic mode. The first slider will help you find the hue or color that you want. The second slider is the saturation, light to dark. And the third slider is the brightness slider here. Um, you also have the ability to move it with your Apple Pencil or your finger. Next we have the Harmony tool. With the Harmony tool we have the ability to find things that work with if we chose one color, what color would go with it. It's just a robust uh, way for you to use Procreate's tools to build a color palette that you like. You can do a complementary color, which is its opposite on the color wheel, a split complementary. Think of it as this sort of triangle opposite the main color that you've chosen. And analogous are the colors that are right next to the color that you've chosen. And the other one's a little more complicated, triadic and tetradic. I tend to use complements and split complements and analogous are the, probably the easiest places to begin to build your palette. Next we have the value sliders. You can at the top use the different sliders, the HSB sliders to give you um, specific colors, the RGB sliders to give you colors. Say you had a specific color, you could plug those RGB codes numbers in and you could get that specific color or the hexadecimal code, which is um, used in some design projects to give to use specific colors for your project. The palette view allows you to see things as compact or in cards. You can press on the three dots, you can share it, you can duplicate it, or you can delete it. You can also rename your palette right here. Okay, suppose we want to start um, and create a brand new palette. Well, we can easily go up to 
the plus button, you create a new palette. You can do it from your camera. Let's say you're out in the garden and you have your iPad. You can take a picture of some, something that's an inspiration to you. you. If you have a file of some, maybe one of your artworks that you'd want to choose color from, or you can do um, something from a photo. What I've done is I've gone onto the internet and I found this photo. I uh, googled um, bright flowers and you can do the same. You can use this as color. You can't really use it um, to um, copy it in any way, but you can, you can use it as a resource for color. So I have this uh, from the internet and I um, have saved it also on my camera roll and I have it here in Procreate. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to add a new layer, which I have here. And I'm going to use this color picker tool, which is this um, square over here on the left hand corner. If yours is set up like mine, you can just use your finger to pick colors here or here and pick a color that you like. And then I'm going to use, I have the Blackburn brush open and I am going to create a little color palette. So when I go into the color palette, you see I have a new untitled palette here. I can take that thing that I've chosen and shows up here and then simply click on the blank box and you'll have a new color. And I'm going to just go around, I'll probably speed up the camera and go around this photograph and pick out a bunch of colors that I really like. Okay, so there are a bunch of colors there that I think would work for something. And I have them um, in my um, palette. I can change the name here and just like flower colors, flowers. And then I could also I can also go out now and use the Harmony tools to help me find some other colors that might work for this um, project. I could add a blue. I could add another bunch of other colors here. I could add another orange. I could add another pink. And I could also then go into the classic mode and try to find some colors with that are sort of lighter, maybe slightly lighter colors. Here I could add, um, let's see, I could add some more greens. I could keep going and I could keep going and add as many colors as I want or as little as I want. So another method is to create a new color palette and you want to do it from your um, photos and you go in and pick out that photo that you had in, in the, in the um, you saved from the internet and voila, uh, Procreate gives you a color palette. Now that is a great starting place. I don't know if I could use all those colors, but I think you, you could use that as a wonderful way to start um, picking and choosing colors that you would want to use in your project. Suppose you'd like all your neutrals together. You can start to move them any way that you'd like. And you want um, the, or you want all the lighter colors together. Oh, and the darker shades. And you can move them in whatever way you'd like. That helps your um, workflow. 
Now it's your turn to try creating your own custom color palette. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video.